Uh, the hack says that I should measure the voltage in my battery. Yeah, it has a positive and a negative, but it has four different pins. Maybe the positive is the first one, and then I don't know what the heck that is, and then the negative is over here, and then I don't know what that is over there. I don't know why they would put four pins, but luckily, I have the tools for the job. Yeah. Alright, this is going to be, what the heck, probably DC. It's not AC, we're not running a, a generator over here. So let's see what happens. I'm getting four volts. Don't believe me? See it over there. Interesting. But then I'm thinking too, I wonder what the resistance is on the battery. See, these pins do nothing. I don't know. I don't know. Yeah, nothing. That's weird. <coughs> Maybe that's to charge it? Maybe, no. I don't know why they put four pins. Made in China, that's their problem. Yeah, I wonder what the resistance though is of the battery pack. If that is a issue. Shall we check the resistance? Maybe we have like a dead short in a battery, even though it says it holds charge, it just skitzes out. Kind of like if you have a car battery, you know, it works for like a little bit and that zzz, and it leaves you stranded. Oh, we got some resistance, 30 something ohms. What do we have here? 29, no, it's staying pretty steady. 29.39. Let's check the other one. This is another battery that's fairly new. We'll check this one too. See, this one I cleaned the contacts, I scraped it all up. I don't know if it did anything. Probably didn't. Oh, come on, oh, fucker. A little less resistance. 23. 11. And let's check her. A voltage. 3.782. That one's almost like dead. Well, then again, it says 3.8 volts. Yeah, 3.7. It's probably like halfway dead. It has probably has a range of like maybe like 4. I would imagine maybe like 4.2. Probably to like 3.3 and a half, 3.6. That's what I just think. I don't know what to think. Piece of crap. Maybe we should check the resistance of this crap over here. Like we're doing something. Like we know what we're doing. Like we're some... Smartphone Russian guy that knows how to fix these things Which I don't don't care to I used to know um At least have caprices. They're always in these crazy business these Russian guys Always selling like computers and stuff. They always knew electronics buying junk stuff and fixing it. I thought it was interesting and Then they look old too. They're just a couple years Older than me, and they look like they were like 40, and that was like 10 years ago. I guess Russia ages them, I don't know. They were good people. They were smart. Oh, we got resistance. Across those pins, it's going up, so it's charging something. Like a capacitor or something, maybe. Is um, connected to that. Those two pins. It's not completely open. I don't know what to do about it. It's my serial number. You can go hack my phone now. That doesn't work. So that's what we got. I don't know what to make of it. Maybe we're getting a bad contact in here. And I was thinking the switch is crappy too. I sprayed a bunch of contact cleaner all around there though. I don't know. It doesn't seem to be sticking. Stupid phones. If this thing doesn't work soon, um, or like doesn't, you know, it doesn't come back to life. Number one is we're gonna run it over with the GMC. Or number two is I'm gonna sell it. Or 
shoot it with a 22. Pew, pew. That'd be pretty cool. Yep, that's all we got for tonight with the cell phone saga. Thanks for everyone for giving me information on what to check and stuff. I appreciate it that people out there even care about my stupid problems. So, yeah, thank you. See, it was just on. Now it's restarting again. There we go again, restarting a second time. It died. There's something too, you press down this button, this button, and the power button all at the same time. And it puts it in some mode, or you press the volume down button, push the power button, and push the volume up. I cut myself. Put a um, volume up and power, and it puts it in some sort of, like, restarting safe mode. Or, and it looks like a Windows computer when it comes up. Start in this mode, start in normal mode, but it doesn't seem to work. Maybe I should remove my tape. Maybe the tape's causing the problem. Because it has to see me. And spy on my conversations. Oh, I got a message. I don't know. And then I had to reset this thing, and so it has nothing on it now, and... It's just a pain in the ass. I had this whistling thing that's annoying. I don't know. I'll turn it off again in about an hour.